Friends, do you know that in this current era where technology and comfort have made our lifestyle easy, various types of pains and ailments have also become our companions. Almost becoming lifelong companions, one common problem is shoulder pain. In today's video, we will try to find permanent relief from this pain with some easy exercises that you can do at home. Shoulder pain, as the name suggests, occurs when our tic nerve becomes irritated or pressed by something, leading to pain along the entire length of the nerve. The sciatic nerve is the largest and longest nerve in our body, starting from the lower back, running through the legs and reaching down to the soles of the feet. The pain associated with it can pose challenges in our daily activities. However, the good news is that with some targeted exercises, you can alleviate this pain. Today, I'm going to share with you three exercises that are most effective in reducing sciatic pain. In my experience, stay tuned with me in this video and see how you can also incorporate these simple exercises into your daily routine to find relief from shoulder pain. So, the first exercise is the knee to chest stretch. This exercise helps relax your lower back and alleviates pressure on the sciatic nerve, providing relief from pain. When your lower back is relaxed, the discomfort associated with automatic shifts is also reduced. Let's go step by step to see how to do this exercise. To perform this exercise, lie flat on your back with your knees bent. They should be bent and your feet should be flat on the ground. Now gently bring one knee towards your chest using your hands for support, keeping the other leg flat on the ground or optionally stretching it out. Hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds, then repeat the same exercise with the opposite leg. Repeat this stretch eight to 10 times with both legs. Important tips and precautions. Never overstretch at any point. If you feel any extra pain while doing this stretch, immediately stop the exercise. Ensure normal breathing and avoid holding your breath. Take deep breaths, especially if you have a sedentary job or profession that leads to prolonged sitting and the onset of sciatic pain. Regularly performing the knee to chest stretch can provide significant relief. Now, let's talk about another important stretch, the piriformis stretch. The piriformis, friends, is a small muscle, which is located in the area of your buttocks and is directly attached to the sciatic nerve. Sometimes, if this muscle tightens or becomes inflamed, swelling can occur, causing a common problem due to sitting. In such cases, it can irritate our sciatic nerve, potentially increasing sciatic pain. To perform this exercise, first sit comfortably on the floor. Now place your hands and knees in a position known as the cow position. Your hands should be shoulder width apart, and your knees should also maintain a similar distance from each other, forming a 90 degree angle. Now bring one leg forward while keeping the foot of that side in an opposite position to the other side, creating an L-type stretch. By doing this, you will feel a stretch in your glute muscles, experiencing a burning sensation. Hold this stretch in this position for one minute, then return to your original position, which is the cow position. Now apply the same stretch to the other leg in the same manner, repeating this procedure eight to 10 times for both legs. Once you become a bit comfortable with this stretch, you can take it a step further. While keeping your lower back straight, bend forward at your hips to increase the intensity of this stretch. Regularly performing this stretch helps reduce muscle tension and increases flexibility providing significant relief from sciatic pain. However, be cautious to not bend your lower back forward too much. Also, if you experience an increase in pain intensity while doing this exercise, it's essential to be very cautious as it might indicate that this stretch is exacerbating your discomfort. So in such a situation, refrain from doing this stretch and consult with a professional physiotherapist before starting any exercise. Now let's move on to our next stretch, which is the spinal stretch. Maintaining flexibility in the spine is crucial for patients with sciatica. This stretch keeps our spine flexible, reducing nerve compression and providing relief from sciatic pain. First, comfortably sit in one place with your legs stretched out. Bend one leg and place its foot on the opposite side of the knee. Then use your opposite hand to touch the knee that is bent, gently twisting your spine. You can hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds, then relax and return to your original position. Repeat the same on the other side with the other leg. Regarding tips and precautions, remember never to overstretch. If you feel any sharp pain in your lower back or leg while doing this stretch, you should immediately stop it. Also, always stretch according to your capacity. Studies indicate that regular spinal stretching provides significant relief in sciatic pain. So these three exercises, knee to chest stretch, piriformis stretch and spinal stretch, can be very helpful in managing sciatic pain. The knee to chest stretch relaxes your lower back. The piriformis stretch reduces tension in your buttocks muscles and the spinal stretch keeps your spine flexible, crucial for alleviating various types of sciatic pain. However, friends, you will truly benefit from these exercises in the long term only if you perform them daily. But if you feel that the pain is too much or if you encounter any difficulties or the pain is not decreasing while doing these exercises, 
please consult with a professional physiotherapist or a yoga instructor. After that, do watch this video because I have explained in detail what to eat and what not to eat for sciatic pain relief. Let me have your permission and I'll see you again in a new video. Until then, keep smiling, stay happy and keep learning something new every day for a healthy life always.